character. Adapted by Greg Laurie. A pastor who was boarding a bus one Monday morning paid his fare to the driver who gave him too much change. So the pastor went back to the driver and said, Excuse me, sir, you gave me back too much change. The driver replied, No, pastor, I didn't give you too much change. I was at your church yesterday. You preached on honesty. So I just thought I would put you to the test. There are a lot of tests in life to see if we have character or integrity. Character is what you are when you are all alone, what you do when there is no one around to impress. It has been said that the measure of someone's character is what they would do if they never would be found out. That seems to be the motivation for a lot of things in life. Why do we not do this or that? Why do we not speed? Because we don't want to get pulled over by the highway patrol. Integrity comes in where the fear of being caught leaves off. Fear is a fine deterrent and it has its place. But a better motive is wanting to do what is right. D.L. Moody defined character as what you are in the dark. It comes down to what you think about when you are all alone. What television programs are on your list to record? What websites do you visit? What would these things say about you? What makes you sad? What makes you mad? What makes you laugh? What makes you angry? A German proverb says, a man shows his character by what he laughs at. Everyone has character of some kind. Character is simply a long habit continued. It has been said, sow a thought, reap an act, sow an act, reap a habit, sow a habit, reap a character, sow a character, reap a destiny. Every day, we are faced with hundreds, maybe even thousands of decisions about doing either the right or the wrong thing. If you do a certain thing, you will get there before anybody else does. If you lie just a little bit, you can cut this corner. If you cheat just a little bit, you can pass this test. There always will be those temptations to take the shortcut, the easy path, instead of doing what is right and what is honorable before God. The evening of a life is determined by the morning of it. The end is determined by the beginning. The decisions you make today will play out tomorrow. You can compile an impressive and long list of accomplishments in life, but if you don't have integrity, it doesn't really matter. If you don't have a character, it undermines all the other things that you do. To be a man or woman of character should be at the top of your list, because the stand you make today will determine what kind of stand you make tomorrow.